hi guys welcome back to my channel so we're all sick um ended up vlogging not vlogging yesterday or the day before um i was sick i was not feeling well um my back just got really itchy oh. um anyways i was sick not feeling well i don't know if you guys can hear it in like my voice and everything but I had a really sore throat, could barely talk. The next day, my throat was a little bit better, but it was really bad in the morning. Um, and then I started getting a little cough. I still have the cough and everything today. Um, my sinuses are all clogged up, but that's normal for me. But Tim started getting it, and his nose is all clogged up today. So um, I've got lunch in the oven what baby you want the wrapper off of it that's a good crayola crayon though shorty um let's see here that'll work um so yeah i just ended up not vlogging Last couple of days, I just didn't feel like trying to talk over like a sore throat and everything. Um, I did, however, get three Etsy orders packaged up. Um, this one's a cup, this is two cups and a popsicle holder and then this is um, something 3D printed that someone ordered the other night. Um, and then I have the trade cup that I um, am making in exchange for Ella's birthday outfit. I'm just waiting for her to send me her address so I can get her cup shipped out to her. Um... Tim bought an air compressor from the one liquidation place, even though he's already got an air compressor, but this one's a bigger and better one, I guess. Um, he asked me if I wanted to go get it today, and mm, not really. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just, this is just sitting here. I'm going to get it, go ahead and get it packaged up. The box and everything is all right there. Um, <clears throat> but I figured I better get Ella some lunch before, um, she gets too, like, you know, crabby. <laughs> um, but, like I said, I do have some things here that I want to show you guys. I'll just take this out there so I can watch her and everything. Um, I'm going to be starting on her and I, her and my matching mommy, daughter, mommy, daughter tumblers today. Um, I'm going to... I think I may keep it a surprise from you guys until they're like all finished. Like I will show you the step by step on what I'm doing, but I'm not going to show you what they are until, or tell you guys what they are until they're done. Does that make sense? <coughs> What's the matter, honey? These are not toys. I told you that this morning. I gotta go figure out what she wants, and then I will show you guys everything that I got. All right, so I set up over here so that you guys can see, like, everything with the, um, like, natural sunlight and everything. The one thing, this one here, I'm not a huge fan of. I was hoping it would turn out a lot cuter. Um, but I am going to have to mess with it a little bit before I can even remotely get close to selling it. But this one turned out so cute. So it's this like copper color. And I don't think I've shown you this. But on this slate in the center I've got gold cogwheels. And then you've got all kinds of tools around the outside. So I showed you the tools before I poured the mold I think. Um, but it's got two different saws. So here's a saw, um, and here's a saw. You have a little, like, tire. 
what are they called? Lug nut remover here. Um, a wrench, another type of wrench, an axe here, a shovel or gravel or shovel. I'll just say a little shovel. It's like a little gardening type shovel. Um, you've got a hammer here. And then a screwdriver and a pair of pliers. Um, I'll actually get this, hold you guys down so you guys can see the details a little bit better. So there's the gold cog wheels. Um, you guys can see the copper. There's all of the tools. This one's kind of hiding a little bit, but there's all of the tools. Um, and then the way the color dripped into the clear, it left like a little hammer there in there. Um, there's an axe. Or there's the hammer. Um, and then there's the axe. Um, I just thought it was cool, you know, there's a few little drips, like you guys can see the hammer type design. It's like, you know, it's a little weird, but I think it's kind of cool. Um, so there's that ashtray. Um, made some self-defense, like, shank shivved things. This one's red and blue. This one's also red and blue. Um, and then this one is red, white, and blue, and I absolutely love how this one turned out. The colors stay separ stayed separated. Um, they kind of bleed bled together here, but, you know, that's, that's whatever. Um, turned out so cute, though. Okay, so that was it for this ashtray and the, like, self-defense keychain things. Um, then I made this. Did not go how I wanted it to. Um, the crayons I had standing straight up. So I had two, one, two, one. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Um, and they kind of fell. Um, I should have put them the other way so that like the base of the crayon was up here. But it's fine. Um, I still think it turned out really cute. Um, but they're just little crayon buttons actually you guys can see on the inside here they are buttons um red orange yellow <laughs> green blue and purple and this is like a clear um resin with just some glitter in it but this is the color changing glitter um this will go from this white to a dark purple in the sunlight I'll take you guys out and show you guys this in a minute this was the ashtray I made last night some of the molds stuck um, so I do still need to get that off and the bottom looks horrendous so I need to put it back in the mold um, and try to put another clear layer over the top or maybe even try just doing it like this and see how it turns out um, I don't know. I was just going to throw it away. Tim thinks it looks cool, though. Um, but this is what it looks like. <laughs> um, so there are fudge stripe cookies in here. Um, and they did not want to stay down in the resin last night. I had to keep pushing them down. Um, and then the resin started to get tacky, and they would still try to float up. So I had to keep pushing them down. You guys can see, like, the bottom is not flat at all from me having to keep pushing them down um, and where it, like, would push the resin up when it was trying to come up and everything. It was just not going well. Um, this whole bottom is supposed to be this gold color here. Dang, go. Um, I may end up just throwing this one away. I don't know. Tim said he really likes it. I don't particularly care for it. Um, but I think I might try to clean it up, get it all worked out so I can, like, save it and list it up, um, and take it to the craft show. If people don't like it, then I'll probably just pitch it. Um, but I'm not going to put too much time and energy into that one because, honestly, to me, it's horrendous. Um... But my food has about two minutes left in the oven, so I'll take you guys out while the sun is shining 
I'll show you guys this. So, okay. This is, you know, what it looks like. You put it in the sun and wait a minute. You guys can already see it's turning purple. Um, but it will get a deep purple in a few minutes here. So I'm going to go ahead and let this change and I will be right back. Okay, so I don't know if it's going to really get any darker because of how the glitter is dispersed throughout and it's not a like solid wall of the glitter. Um, but you guys can see it's definitely more of a purple color than it was. Um, I'm going to leave this out um, for a few hours and see if it gets any darker. But I don't think it's going to. I think it's just because of how the glitter, like I said, it's not like a solid wall. Like, you guys can blatantly see my fingers through the bottom. I think that's why. Um, but I still think it turned out super cute. And they're just little crayons. Um, this would be perfect for teachers to put little pens in. Alright, and then, last but not least, I made some red, white, and blue dominoes. I love how these ones turned out. Like this effect it's got. Um, let me see, which one of them turned out the best in my opinion here? I think probably this one or this one. The 03 or the 04, you can see all of the colors very clearly in them. Um, you know, like some of them, like this one, it's mostly blue. There's a little bit of the white that's showing through right here. Um, and like, same with this one, there's just a little bit. This one, there's barely anything. This one, you can't even see the white until you flip it over. Um, it was definitely a learning experience trying to pour three different colors at once. If I just did two, I think it would have gone much better. Um, but overall, I think for my first three color pour on one specific mold and being so small, I think it went great. This one went the best. This was with the leftover resin from the Domino's. This one went great. But these ones, I think I just needed to let the resin harden a little bit more like I did with this one. And that's why it's so distinct, different colors here. Um, but not too bad. I still think that they're really cute. They're $15 or $23 with a box. So, yeah. Does anyone else remember when I made this book for Ella? I made it for her first birthday um, from Shutterfly. And it's been a while since I've looked in this. Queen Quilt Woody Village. That peach. Oh. I remember this so much. I spent so much time collecting this stuff. And I put this on here. Um, and then back here we have her first ever picture. That was in the hospital just after she was born after, like we did the um, instant, you know, skin to skin. This is the first time that she was taken away, like, two hours after I had had birth, or given birth, um, that she was taken away to be weighed and everything. Hmm. Oh, my baby. <laughs> I honestly forgot all about this book until I went to go put one of her new books away um, and I saw it sitting there. Hmm. <laughs> um, but I just got the house like cleaned up 
got the kitchen clean, got the living room-ish area clean. Her room's clean. I still need to do our room, but I'm gonna do that after I get her into bed because she goes to bed here in about half an hour. Um, and then I still gotta pick up the sunroom, but like I said, that I do after she's in bed. Um, then tonight, I'm gonna start on her and my like mommy daughter sippy cups then i have an adventure to go on um after i finish those cups i want to make some tumblers that are you know ready to go for the craft show and i have one in mind that i cannot wait to see come to life it's not extravagant it's actually going to be very bland and kind of like boring, but it's gonna be cute, if that makes sense. Um, it's not gonna have very much color, it's not gonna be anything extravagant, but I cannot wait to see it. <laughs> 